Hey guys, Dandy Dan bringing you another episode of Clash of Clans. We're going to do some Town Hall 11 rating today. But we're also going to talk about what I feel is the biggest problem in Clash of Clans right now. Now, the other day, it was about a week or two ago, I saw a Clash with Ash video. One of the first Clash of Clans videos he's posted because, not to pick on him in particular, but... Um, you know, just one of the first videos that he's posted that was not Clash Royale. Um, I really don't like Clash Royale. I found a lot of the YouTubers that I particularly like have gone to Clash Royale because they're probably not getting views out of Clash of Clans videos. Like, I'm, you know, I don't expect a lot of views out of my videos. Don't get me wrong. I don't have tons of subscribers. By the way, you know, hit the subscribe button. Button. But honestly, like, you know, I just feel like they must be moving on for some reason, right? Okay? And it's probably because they're not getting tons of views. Well, the reason they're not getting tons of views is because there's not as many people playing, and particularly not as many new people playing. Now, in the episode the other day that I watched with Clash of, with Ash, he was doing a war... It was one of these, you know, prearranged, probably friendly wars. You know, I'm sure they're fun. It's an established clan. If you're an established clan, you're probably not feeling this. But if you're trying to create a clan from new, or you're a new player, Clash of Clans kind of sucks, okay? Like, they just don't have enough incentive for new players. If you want to start your own clan at level 1, your clan is garbage. Like, no one wants to join it because there's no incentives to join it and there's all these incentives to join other clans that are level 5 plus. I mean, level 2, 3, 4 is not good either, okay? So what you end up getting is, like, all these people that just don't attack. Like, let's look at our last Warlog. I mean, this is a great example. We lost. And we run, you know, about 50-50. I don't expect people to have great output in war. I'm not looking for that. Um, just, you know, the clan's fun win and play for a reason. But if you look here at this, um, we'll go through. And this guy. All right, he was with us for a couple wars. I had to kick him. Like, dude, your Town Hall 8, you don't attack unless you think you're going to win. The first war he was here, he attacked the number one, which was a Town Hall 11. Like, you are critically wasting our time in wars, okay? Um, then we go down. This guy has been around for know, a couple weeks. You know, I'm trying to give these people a chance. Just doesn't attack. He's like a Town Hall 7, all right? Like, where are these flakes coming from, and why do they exist? So what they need to do is, like, up the loot for your low level player i don't even care about my own account like my accounts i have three accounts in this clan the town hall eight ends up attacking the lowest garbage just to clear the targets because we have like a constant income of flakes that don't attack in war there's zero incentive for these low level players to take war seriously there's zero incentive for them to join any low-level clan. I mean, we're level 5 now. I should be getting some better people. But, you know, these people want to get in, like, level 12 clans. Or maybe they just don't exist. Like, we're not attracting good players. But that is the entire biggest problem with Clash of Clans. They are just not getting any good players. It's, it's like, really bad. Like, worse than I've ever seen it. And if they don't fix that... The game's going to be toast. Now, they're running all these events. Like, right now, we have a poison spell event. Some of them are cool because some of the things that are coming up, like maybe a baby drag, if you like using it, raid spell, whatever. Um, you know, you can kind of make some good farming opportunity with it. We're going to go for this. There's quite a bit of dark here, so we're going to see what happens. Um, the other big problem that I saw was that... Oops, let's drop some wizards. Um... You know, in the last big update, you know, of course, we're always happy that they have an update. But it was all Dark Elixir upgrades for the higher-end guys. And, I mean, how much Dark Elixir are we really going to net? I mean, you know, 
it, it's pretty rough. So that in of itself, there's my poison spell, um, is kind of not so good either. But, you know, that's kind of neither here nor there. The other thing is, can you guys please, for the love of God, fix wall breakers? Because wall breakers suck tremendously. Like, the name of the troop is wall breaker, and you can't break anything but an exterior wall with them. So you're having to rely on, like, quakes and jump spells and shit. And it's just not cool. It's like, come on, guys. Like, for real? Um, so those are my main rants, but they got to get some new players in this game. I mean, anyone with a new clan, because of the lack of good new players, is basically totally screwed. I mean, they're just toast. I don't even care. I'm busy ranting, so I don't care if I won this or not. But I did get some dark, and since my army's all elixir, you know, I, I netted a little bit of dark. Um, so my heroes are dead, so that's going to be it for the rating today. Um, but yeah, I mean, let me know your guys' thoughts, but it's been really bad. Like, we had this other guy, Lim, he joined, and he did really well, like, with his attacks. Oh, see, now he's opt. No, he's still out. So he stayed for one war. We won. We won that war. And, like, I want good people when he's donating. It's great. But he's opted out. Why? Like, I have, like, eight good people in the clan. I need good people for wars. So I just don't understand. I'm kind of at a loss on that one. Um, but, you know, Slope actually did attack in his wars, so that's good. You know, when people attack, I try to give them the chance. Coleman attack. It's like, okay, let's put these guys in war. But when they attack, they're not getting any stars. Now, they're really low level. I totally get that. Rishi also. Now, some of these other people here and a bunch of the people that I kick, like Banty, all the, they're not going to attack. I'm not even going to put them in wars. Like, why? Just why? So if they want war and they want new people, they need to get everybody involved in a way that, look, we're going to give you so much loot for doing this war as a low-level player and the other thing is it takes so long to get from, like, a Town Hall 1 to a Town Hall 8. Well, then give them a buttload of loot for war so that they make their two attacks. Like, I don't want to miss my two attacks because I will get so much loot. My account will shoot right up to Town Hall 8. I can't help but not to get it. Just do that. Because having all these flaky people, like, if I go into Global right now, Lone Wolf, um, first one to say, I don't know, let's... Let's invite the guy. Now look, 15 war stars. What town hall is this guy? This this kind of says it all right here. Um, yeah, he's like a town hall six. This dude comes and goes. That's all he does. Comes and goes. So when people get him, they realize they don't want him, and they kick him to the curb. I could care less if I get players from any place on the map of the world. You know, some clans are all about USA players or Indian players. They want that. They can come from anywhere. I don't care. And they can be any level. I'll take a Town Hall 1 and a Town Hall 11. I actually prefer Town Hall 1 because you can get them to not rush their base. Okay? But these people come and they just don't attack or do shit. I'm not even sure why they play the game, to be honest with you. But they're recreational pastime seems to be to come in leave and bail on war like that kind of you know so put some real incentive out for wars if you want to be a war because the game is so war centric if you have a clan that doesn't war no one wants to be in that clan it's a very real thing okay unless you're like an fwa clan which you have to have the right number of people with the right number of upgrades and so on and so forth. Everyone's got to be Town Hall 9 or up to be FWA. And they want heavy war weight, heavy crossbows. The exact opposite of a clan that's actually doing warring. So if you want real warring going on, you need to have real incentive for low-level people to do wars. So they don't skip on their attacks or maybe do something like suspend their account if they bail on war and don't do their attacks. Because you can't have clans that are going to war and then they lose because...
people aren't even trying. That's horrible. Those people deserve banned or suspended in my book. I mean, yeah, you miss one, fine. I, I get that. But what if, like, somebody misses, like, four wars in a row or, so, like, both attacks? Like, they need suspended. They're not even serious. Just get them out of here. So um, I don't know what you guys want to do with this, but I will be sending this to Supercell as well. And if you have any thoughts on it, you can feel free to put them in the comments box. Oops. And I totally did not. I don't even know if this thing stole.